questions? Here under the mic. Uh, first question, right? Yeah, for any one of the players. Um, obviously, they, they started out hot. You guys fought really hard and looked like in the end. Was the difference, did you like the shots you got and they just didn't fall? No. Uh oh, well, well, well. <laughs> Um, no, we didn't. I thought we started off, you know, getting some good looks really early in the first quarter. Um, but then once they started going on our run, I think we were kind of getting antsy. And no, I don't think their quality of our shots was, was good, especially in the first half. Yeah, to build off that, I think for us, it's going to be at this next level playing against all these good teams is how can we get our teammate the best shot? And being able to set and facilitate for others too. I think a lot of times when we got into the paint, they were collapsing immediately. And sometimes we were forcing stuff up, myself included. So being able to jump stop and kick and find someone open for the three or a pull up or anything like that will be important for us going forward. Back to the room. This is now the fourth game against the ranked opponent. You guys have kind of come out a little sluggish. How do you go about just fixing that, addressing that in the future? Um, I think just as, I mean, kind of pointing inward, like, that's this is the fourth game. I would say that we've in our our halftime talks are like, all right guys, now let's pick it up second half. You know we can come back. Like that does not need to be the case anymore. So I think you know we've been saying, all right guys, let's, we're not going to do that anymore. So now is like really where we really have to take that step forward and like figure out a way to punch first because we've been getting punched first. And I think in the, the four ranked games we played. Yeah, and coming out the get-go with a sense of urgency. Not necessarily allowing that to wait until the second half, but making sure that right from the jump, we're, this could be our second half. Like, making making that punch right away instead of waiting to do it. Front row. Uh, obviously, parallels to the Indiana game in the first half, but the second half, you guys put a much better fight. Did, did that experience help you all down the stretch? I would say, but um, we don't like being a second half team. So um, yeah, we came out and fought, I think, a lot better in the second half, but um, that's not what we want to be known for. So. Back row. Uh, Shelby Swanson, Daily Tarfield. Just wanted to ask what your perspective was on Destiny Adams and how hard she was working for you guys, especially later in the game. Yeah, it's huge. And we're going to need her for the rest of the year to do exactly that. Um, she hit a big shot. She's getting rebounds. She's tying people up. She's bodying up on their bigs. All the things that we really need from her. And she just brings an energy that you can't replicate and you can't teach. Um, and we're going to need it from her. Second row. Uh, wondering what you thought of Leah Brown, number 32, kind of what you saw on her, of, of her, from her on the film coming in. And then No, I thought she was very physical, um, a lot more physical than we thought. Uh, she came out like a fifth-year senior and um, punched first. I thought that she just played like a really experienced guy. What, what got you all going there late in the fourth quarter when you pulled it down and got that striking distance? What was the difference there for you guys? Our defense, honestly, it like I said with Destiny, she was tying people up. There was loose balls, we were on it all the time. We were just playing with a different sense of urgency that forced us back into that game. We weren't quitting. I just wanted to ask, Alyssa obviously got three fouls pretty early on the game. What was the message to you guys about how you had to switch things up or pick things up for her? Um, I think just, you know, because she's such a huge part to our success, um, and, you know, just especially when we're trying to play fast, she runs really well for us, and she's just a big presence for us, bigger presence. Um, so I think just us as guards, we kind of had to adjust a little bit and kind of um, just make up, especially on the defensive end. Um, I think, I don't remember who stepped in for her, but um, yeah, just, just kind of bringing the same effort that, that she brings to the team. What, what goes through your mind in the first quarter where they're hitting crazy shots, 75%, and they're getting tough shots too. They just, they just seem uh, hard to believe. Yeah, Brown uh, hit three threes that was not expected. She was 15% from three coming into this game. Um, so that was just an adjustment that we kind of didn't catch on to um, after she hit at least hit the first or second. Um, and they were pretty timely. So that definitely added to the lead. So I think that that's, that was kind of, um, and then their post came out in threes in the first quarter as well. So um, that just kind of took us back a little. Kind of bouncing off that, I mean, how much did their zone disrupt what you were trying to do offensively? They have plays on. It's okay. I just figured I'd help them out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, on your end, um, just wanted to ask how you would assess how the press went for you guys defensively. Um, if you're able to bring that out and kind of put some pressure on you guys. Yeah, it, it was very helpful towards the end. Um, it brought a different sense of energy and it, I think, took them aback a little bit. They didn't really expect it or know how to handle it. Um, and we were able to get a few traps or some tips or even just rush, rush them into turnovers, um, which honestly then translated and we got stuff on the other end. Um, that's hopefully something that we can just continue to improve on in our traps and getting tips on stuff. Guys, um schedule doesn't get any easier as the team play to start the tackle break. Um, what's the focus over the next nine days? Learning. <laughs> learning from this game. Um, there's a lot of things that we can learn from it. And like you said, it's a tough schedule. The ACC is one of the best conferences in the country, if not the. Um, and so being able to learn from this game and make tweaks moving forward is going to be how we can be successful moving forward. And over the break, we have a lot of alone time. So, like for me personally, just figuring out how I can be better, watching a lot of film for me, I need to watch film. Um, but yeah, just growing in that way, get ready for ACC play. Any other questions for Ava? Last one. The three point shooting, like you said, they're not that sharp on the season, shooting a little bit over thirty percent. But in the first half, they seem to get you guys. So, did that get you off guard as far as defense? Did they get your defense scrambling? Um, yeah, we it was definitely an adjustment. Um, it definitely, you know, it wasn't our game plan to, uh, or it was our game plan to kind of let them shoot, especially certain players. We thought they only had two three-point shooters. But, um, yeah, I think it took us back a little bit in the first quarter. Um, and I don't think we adjusted quick enough um, just mid-game um, as players. So. All right, thank you. Let you guys get back to locker room. Questions for Coach? Coach, what? Yeah. Yeah, I mean the first. Or what? Yeah, I mean when when Leah Brown hit two, she's hit two all year, just so we're clear before this game. And then uh, the girl twenty two wasn't even in our scouting report, so I first was like, who the hell's that? <laughs> that was the first thing. Um, so those two things happened. Um, you know, it, it was. But I also I told my guys at one of the t timeouts that. You know, you you got. We knew is a really experienced group, and um, you know, good play. Really, good players have to play well in big games, and they did that. So, really, credit to them. I mean, it's it's you're forcing them out of what they want to do, and, and that's a good thing. You know, we we, we wanted to concede the, the perimeter uh, to Leah, and instead helped to the post, um, and she made the shots. So good for her. You know, good for her. But contrast this to the Indiana game. Obviously, this was a bigger deficit than Indiana, but you put up a better fight and got closer. How has your team grown as far as dealing with that sort of kind of Yeah, I think, I mean, our strength of schedule sort of speaks for itself. It's our fourth ranked opponent already. Um, and that's why we're doing it, right, is we knew the ACC is an incredible challenge. Um, it's a really different mindset to go from hunting, which is what we did all year. I thought we were better than people thought, to being hunted, right? And, and clearly my group is still figuring that part out, right, of, of, of you're getting, you're kind of playing with house money, you know. But like we did last year when you're playing a team that is, is top five or top ten in the country, you're saying, all right, well now everything kind of, you feel freer because you're, it's not a game you have to win, right? Um, and so that, that's a mentality shift that they'll have to make, um, and we didn't want to have to figure that out in the ACC season, right? Um, so, you know, this is all, I told them, I think we learn about our, if we learn about our team uh, game to game, then you'll be good enough when you need to be, right? If we, um, and so they're, they'll, we'll all point inward and, and this will help us get a little bit better um, for the next one. You were the destiny for extended minutes in the post in the first half. Obviously, Anya had two fouls, but was it more than that? No, I mean, yeah, Destiny, had, I mean, uh, Anya had two fouls, for sure, and then and Destiny was, was able to create her, through her activity, she was able to contribute on both sides of the, the floor. Um, and so there's an element of coaching that's really statistic-based, and there's an element of coaching that has a feel, you know, and you, you kind of got to balance that throughout a game. You talk about that mentality change. I mean, you got two players up here who are saying already they need to point inward, they need to take a look at themselves. When you have it, I mean, how much easier is that mentality of coach? Yeah, you know, that's what you told them, is that you're, you know, when, you know, really good teams, you have to point inward, everybody. So don't go on your trip home now and, and point outward, right? This is all of us could have contributed more to success on both ends of the floor. Um, and what a great experience. You know, I feel like we played, I feel like last year we played Coca Seniors all year and we're doing it again, right? So 
they're, they're still the younger guys, and so they've got to, they've got to, they haven't arrived, you know, and so that's the, that's the mantra of our group. We point inward because we need all of our pieces to continue to get better. Last question. So if you could just speak about this jumping invitation yeah. plan. How much uh, of a blessing is to have this platform for you ladies and for the women's basketball? Yeah, I appreciate you giving us the opportunity to, to speak about it because it's been a first class event. You know, it's uh, we didn't know when we accepted who we even were going to play. It didn't matter, right? It was an opportunity to, you know, um, I think the greatest player of all time on the men's side is Michael Jordan, and the fact that he's been able to uh, do so much with his likeness, um, and that uh, it remains a huge part of Carolina, you know, and so the opportunity to be in the inaugural Jumpman Classic that, um, and to feel like it's a premier event, and the effort that people have put into it is felt, you know, and it's appreciated, and it's um, it's a great event. And so we were, so I think it's the second time we played in an NBA arena, and in six weeks, you know, and that's, I'm just, you know, I told my guys, there's a lot to be proud of, right? And um, it's much it's much worse looking at your locker room when you don't like them, you know, and it's a likable group that, um, you know, they're, they're still learning and it's never an issue of playing hard, you know, it's an issue of how can we make the margins better? Um, and so, but yeah, this was an opportunity to do that, which was great on a on a big stage. Like there's there's no replacing that. So we're, we're in gratitude for sure. Thanks, Coach. Sorry guys, I gotta catch a flight.